Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nicardo McLean, with the final men's 100 meters form chart ahead of the start of Jamaica Nationals. Now, despite Devontae Burnett's unfortunate absence through injury, which was first brought to my attention by a valued contributor to the channel, Cool Kaizo, big up yourself, the men's 100 meters event at Nationals is shaping up to be as exciting as it has been since Usain Bolt's retirement ushered out Jamaica's golden era in the men's short sprints. As was the case on our previous form chart, no fewer than seven sprinters under the age of 25 are featured. But we kick things off with a gifted veteran who was once good enough to finish fourth on the world champ stage. With a season's best 1018 in the prelims of the 100 at Destiny Series 3, 30 year old Kemar Bailey Cole, who breaks into the countdown at number 10, again teased the type of talent that once had many tipping him to be the next big thing in Jamaican men's sprinting. It seems fair to say that the former Old Harbor High standout is the ultimate wildcard among the males. George's old boy Jelani Walker, who just turned 24, makes an appearance in the ninth spot, thanks in no small part to his encouraging 1015 PB in the 100 final at the Music City Track Carnival on June 5th. A model of consistency so far this season, GC Foster College's Cadrian Goldson, who pops up at number 8 on this occasion, has produced 7 wind legal runs under 1030 in his 12 100 meter races to date. Shaving a tenth from his current 1019 PB, done all the way back in May, should move the 24 year old into what Mondo Musings anticipates will be top 6 territory. On the surface, 7th may appear too lofty a perch for 20 year old Kishane Thompson who registered a relatively modest 1021 PB in the 100 final at the first of the Jubilee Series meets. But with another 10-2 caliber run, a 10-3 into a 1.6 meter per second headwind for backup, our model suggests that he's certainly worth his seeding. And as we well know, 10-2 in May could be worth 10-0 something in the hands of MVP's coaches come June. At number 6 is veteran sprint tech athlete and 2010 national 100 meter champion O'Shane Bailey. The experienced former Calabar high school campaigner signaled a return to the type of form that saw him turn in a 10-18 season's best at March's John Woolmer Speed Fest with a sharpish 10-22 into a headwind at the Allcomers meet on June 11th. This could just be the year when he finally revises his more than a decade old PB of 10.11 seconds. Conroy Jones, a member of the suddenly vibrant youth movement that's swiftly changing the face of Jamaican men's 100 meter sprinting, clocks in at number 5. Only three men, podium favorites Oblique Seville and the Blakes, have managed to run faster than the 19 year old sprinter's 10.14 PB set in the final of the Jubilee Series 2 meet in late May. Fourth on this final national champs form chart is MVP's Nigel Ellis, who was sixth with a time of 10:14 in 2021, having churned out three 10:1 times, highlighted by a season's best 10:16 in Puerto Rico on May 12th. The former Stets athlete appears to be finding some much-needed consistency at just the right time. The younger of the Blakes, Michael Freighter coach Takim slides into the number 3 slot on this countdown. The 20 year old rising star issued a loud statement of intent with a 995 personal best run at the New York Grand Prix on June 12th, forcing Doha 2019 100 meter victor Christian Coleman to pull out all the stops to hold him off. Holding firm in the second spot is 2011 world 100 meter champion and last year's silver medalist Johan Blake. The decorated sprinter who will turn 33 in December has beaten Tokyo 2020 finalist Andre de Grasse, Zarna Liuz, and Akani Simbini in his last three races, with the latter two being edged out by a season's best 10.05 second effort at the Golden Spike meeting on May 31st. And at number one is pre-meet gold medal favorite Oblique Seville who announced himself as the man to beat on Friday, June 24th with a sensational string of results in May. 
the 21-year-old Glenn Mills conditioned athlete firmly grabbed the top seed tag with his staggering 986 PB performance at Jubilee Series meet number two, which remains the second fastest time in the world to date. So there you have it, our series of National Champs form charts in the books. Is Oblique Seville a lead pipe lock to win it all? Or will it be one of the Blakes? And what of defending champion Taekwondo Tracy? Let me know who you think will take it in the comment section. Here's hoping that you thoroughly enjoy the athletics buffet from all over the world over the next few days. Until next time, peeps, Godspeed.